stepped inside St. Joseph's Church, a Long Islander kneeling among Manhattan's history. I felt a strong worship with this congregation, people singing celebratory cheers for the 125th Feast of St. Rocco. After Mass ended, people commenced onto Monroe. A marching band played, We Awaited for St. Rocco, the statue of a saint resembling Jesus. He held the Bible in his right hand with two small angels by his side. Sores evident on his leg, he was known to cure the scourge of the plague. We marched Manhattan streets with summer sun beating down. Several well-built men carried St. Rocco, lifting and lowering with sweat. Bystanders of Hispanic, Chinese, and Italian ancestry stopped, touched, and asked St. Rocco for blessings, a United Nations of Church in Little Italy. This German-Irish girl felt a bond with this New York City community, pinning bills of donation in hopes for answered prayers from St. Rocco. St. Joseph's door is soon to be closed by Cardinal Dolan. Moments later, uno, dos, tres, viva St. Rocco! Marching onward, we headed up and down Mulberry Street. Everywhere, people gave money, jewelry, cheering. Religion was more than just worship and words this Sunday afternoon. Viva St. Rocco! Viva St. Rocco! Thank you. He lives on, an ode to Robin Williams, on and off screen. Everyone's hero of laughter has left us. Patch Adams, world's greatest dad, one hour photo, Mark and Mindy are now separated. The timekeeper, the night listener, trapped inside the birdcage of a troubled life. This was not Sesame Street. This man dealt in drugs with depression off screen. We all wanted his happy feet. He gave us smiles and laughs. The best of times we yelled, good morning Vietnam. Fern Gully's last rainforest had a life of ups and downs. The crazy ones got canceled. Despite the final cut, Shakes the Clown was the angriest man in Brooklyn. Rumors he had Parkinson's, Given no choice, he had to leave us. Don't worry, be happy, pup life, for you are at rest now. What dreams may come of us, we remember your best of times, then your drastic ending. A member of the Poet Society on screen, free of a life of hardships off the big screen. You are at the big white gates of heaven now, our true awakenings. The Fisher King lives on every day. We continue frequent restroom stops after Mrs. Doubtfire or old dogs. We flubber like Aladdin's genie to pee after watching The Big Wedding or Robots. Jumanji, Insomnia, Dr. Seuss, Hook, all fan favorites. This face lives on forever as man of the year. The face of love will be Goodwill Hunting, cable channels, or Netflix whenever we need a laugh. Night at the museum can seize the day and we will laugh on as your memory lives on being human in absolutely anything. Wow. <laughs>